So why is math so interesting to us as teachers? I love it. I love it because it allows you to explore things in the natural world. It allows you to get a better, a deeper understanding of things that you see in your everyday life. And um, it's just really one of the most useful tools in developing your reasoning, your creativity. Really, it's good in all, all areas of life. Though. So we love teaching maths at A-level. I think you really enjoy it too. But in a practical sense, what kind of careers could maths lead to? What university pathways could it lead to? If you want to go into any kind of engineering, aeronautical, chemical, um, or just plain civil engineering, maths is fantastic. If you want to study a pure maths route, you could go into teaching, which is a great idea. You could go into research, and then you would just be studying what you enjoy all the time and get paid for it. So maths allows you to do a huge variety of careers, and even if it's something that's not directly related, universities love to see it because they know it takes a strong student to study maths. One of the main reasons why I took maths A level is because of the multiple applications that it has to real life. Maths is everywhere, and so in uh, subjects like mechanics and statistics, you'll study maths applied to real life and how you can use it to solve real life problems. Despite this, I've really enjoyed pure maths, which takes away all the applications and it leaves maths raw in its form so you can study it. And for me, taking away that application has made it so much more easier to understand and therefore I've progressed really well in pure maths. The main skill that I've found uh, is problem solving. Doing a lot of questions and multiple step questions has really allowed me to have that perseverance when uh, doing problem solving questions. A-level maths is considered one of the most useful and popular A-levels out there. You'd be amazed that um, whatever career choice or degree that you want to take, A-level maths is very sought after. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, it may well be for you. But what's the difference between GCSE and A-level? Well, the really good thing about the course we teach at Sedgill is that we give you time to get comfortable with your GCSE skills over the first few weeks. We build up your confidence and then after that is when it gets interesting. You start exploring maths that you've never seen before. Maths that uh, affects every walk of life. So for example, if you want to study a degree in sociology, engineering, even things like law, you'd be amazed at the kind of maths that's involved. So at A-Level, we study pure maths, which if you're just a lover of maths, you'll find so interesting, things like calculus and trigonometry. But if you want more real-life applied stuff, then we'll be studying things like how maths affects uh, the spread of disease, how we can make predictions in scientific experiments, and even things like uh, the results of surveys and psychology. Maths is using all of that. So, let's have a look. I want you to draw the diagram the teachers really, they really have uh, a lot of knowledge and depth and understanding about the subject and beyond the curriculum they can explain the formulas and how to derive them and it's really useful to have so you can really have that understanding of maths. So really in summary if you want one of the most useful A levels if you want a subject that is going to challenge you and yet you'll still feel supported, and if you want to have access to a huge range of degrees and careers, then A-Level Maths 